Hello everybody, I'm Chris Olds, this is Reed Casaoka, and we're here with another Rip and Retail Retro. This time we're rewinding the clock 20 years. Where 30, PAX... 30 years. 30, whew, 30 years. 1985 tops. I did a story on 95 the other day, so that was stuck in my head. So, uh, the home of Dwight Gooden, Keith Hernandez, not as important, Dave Winfield, Ryan D. Sandberg, and of course, Mark McGuire, Reg Clemens, and Kirby Puckett. I just stole all the thunder. What can you tell me about this box? Uh, 85 tops. Olympic cards. Yep. Um, Registry favorite, I'm sure. Exactly. Yep. And probably not the cheapest box these days, although not as expensive as it used to be. That's yeah, 125, 150 bucks or so. Okay. There are a lot of consolation rookies in there. When I, when I see them, I'll let you know. Yeah. Uh, Corey Snyder. Ought to be McDowell. Yeah, McDowell. Yeah. These are tough getting out of here. All right, top half of the box goes to you. Bottom half of the box goes to me. Or Hershizer. Right. Yeah, I've got a few of those. Right. It's uh, third year of uh, Dwight, Dwight Gooden. Daryl Strawberry. A lot, of, a lot of stuff going on in these. So what, do you, what can you tell us about like vintage packs and sealing and stuff? Well, you're always going to want to look to make sure that the, uh, the seals are yeah, clean. Those are tight right there. Yep, they look at the corner folds. Very uniform. And here are the two reasons, well, yeah, here are two reasons why you're glad that there's more pack, more cards in a pack. Wax stains, of course. This one's not too bad, but this one, woo! That's the gum stain. Big oh, time. on Pete Rose, even. Yeah. So, Pete Rose. Gum stains. You are stained. Now, I just, you know, have you, have you noticed, I don't know if this is just me, but, like, is it is it heat that makes the oil come out of the gum? You know, you can't really tell what's what's causing the gum stain or the, or the wax stain of what, how it was stored. But yeah, yeah I mean, intense heat has I've a had, lot to do with it. Right, because I've had 89 Bowman boxes where two or three cards were destroyed like that. Yeah, and you can never tell. You, I mean, people have asked me too, it's like, oh, is everything climate controlled? Like, you don't know who owned it before you. Right. You don't know who owned it before you then. Too, right. So, it's a cow repkin. I'm not gonna show every card in this one because there's plenty of cards in these packs. I'll just show the highlights. Here is a pretty solid gradable, slight, just barely off-centered, Michael Jack Schmidt. 85 tops is a little bit, uh, I think they upped the production that year. It's a little sloppy, it's a little discolored, and a little, you know, yep. a little messy on the printing side, but still fun. Alan Wiggins, I think he's the first professional athlete to die of AIDS. Or oh yeah? Later death. Ooh, now look at that gum. Definitely don't try this gum. Look at that. That's some discoloration and some oil. Woo! Danger. At least it wasn't on a Roger Clemens rookie card. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Different type here. of card there, a father and son. That's a fun set. They should try that again. Nick Swisher, Steve Swisher, my player, and his dad. Cheap pop. Or something. Man, this second pack, pretty brutal. Jose Rio rookie card and a uh, Bryn Smith. You can call that a highlight. George Brett. Now, the one thing um, on of, of the vintage guys these years, Donruss packs you have to literally like tear open. Like they don't come open easily. Fleer, they bit pretty much fall open on you. And then tops is sorted in the middle. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Uh, once again, it could come down to the way it's stored. True. You true. know, the wax might adhere a little bit more because of uh, the heat. Right. But uh, yeah, it, it, the packs open differently. There's a, it's hard to explain if you haven't opened them before, but there's a feel to opening packs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these definitely, I, I haven't opened a, uh, an old, I think 87 is probably the furthest I've gone back recently in terms of a full box. So Tim Belcher. I've done a lot of Donruss and these are definitely not like those. That's what was making me think that. How about a Mark Gubix uh, rookie card? Woohoo! when the Royals were relevant back in the 80s. Yeah. How about Phil Necro, Keith Hernandez, Howard Johnson, and Carlton Fisk? It's a respectable lineup, although the Howard Johnson rookie, uh, it's not a rookie card. Yes, it's a rookie card. I'm not sure if it's a rookie card. I think it's a rookie card. Hojo. I don't even know if it's a rookie card. I should. He's 83, right? Uh, maybe. I like that. Card. I've always liked that photo, though. I'm getting, a lot not of, in a I'm getting a lot of comments. Yeah. I, that's, let's see. Dennis Eckersley? It is a big set. Ooh, this pack had two cards where the oil soaked through. That's pretty, that's pretty rough there. 
It happens though, that's the thing, you never know where stuff's been stored. It could be, you know, like, like I'm sure you, when you do your, and one thing I haven't mentioned today in all of our videos, you do traveling like buying trips where you're all around the country. You were in California last week. Um, you know, do you see, what's the, what was it, where was I going with this? Like, are there, are there buyers that you buy from regularly where, you know, they had stuff sitting in like, um, warehouses so long that it's, you could tell the heat got to it at all? I mean, yeah, in some, in some ways. Like in Arizona, obviously, it's yeah. obvious. Yeah. I think more so than, than the, I mean, heat is a factor, but I think more so Just age. is the, is the conditions that are most detrimental to me are things like sun, because it fades, mm -hmm. yeah. dirt, the dust, because that stuff gets in everywhere. Cat hair and stuff, I yeah. think we talked about last well, yes. time you were in here. Pet, pet hair is definitely yeah. very detrimental. <laughs> You can, you just you see packs where they're just like covered in you know dirt from yep. the years. How about a Frank Viola and a Tim Belcher? Fun names, not not big money. I, I got to pick up the pace here, otherwise I'm gonna have to hand you some packs. And say that uh, the video can't go on forever. Exactly. Sparky Anderson, Harold Baines. Ah, uh, Harold Baines got got destroyed by the gum. Let's see here. We'll get a rookie card. Another Howard Johnson, Phil Necro pack, Carlton Fisk. So I got two for two on all those guys. There we show. Now back in the day for these Topps cards, there were no seals on these boxes. So there's no such thing as a, you know, box that's got the hits in it, obviously. But also there's no, really no rhyme or reason to what would show up in a box. No. And no. Flair, you would know every, you know, your boxes had one of each card, basically. Uh, how about a Dennis Oil Can Boyd? I think that's a rookie. And Alan Trammell. Boom. I'm just going to call him Rusty. <laughs> I turned 41 and it's still funny. It is. You know, that dude, he totally played it up. So if he didn't like that name, he would have called himself exactly. Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Our first USA card. I think this is the first USA guy I owned. Billy Swift. Probably because I bought him for 35 cents back in the day. It's unfortunate that guys in the set died young. Donnie Moore. Donnie Moore. But, you know, 30 years ago, most of these dudes, if they're lucky, they're 50. You know? Although that really doesn't apply to the dying young part, but, you know. Donnie Moore was more unfortunate than that. Yeah, exactly. Ralph Houck. Calvin Edwin Ripken Jr. The Andre Dawson. Right before he went to the Cubs. And got better. <laughs> now he, he was 87, 87 tops traded, one of my favorite cards. Tony Gwynn. There you go. And skinny Tony Gwynn. Totally Gwynn. Yep. Jerry Don Gleaton and Dale Murphy. The Murphy is stuck to the second card, unfortunately. Rick Anderson. Let's see here. Jamie Kokenauer and Shetzetter. Orlando Mercado, Al Oliver. You know, this box is very light on yeah. Olympic cards. Just one, I think, so yep. far. That happens. I mean, and you never know. It could have been sitting at a drugstore somewhere before somebody bought it. You know? Oh, this box is clean. Was well, from a seal? The, the case? They won't know because it didn't say that on, the, oh, on, on our wrap. stickers. Yeah. But uh, if you looked, when we had the stacks, the stacks all lined up. That it wasn't a, a piece together box. I got gotcha. you. Know? Yeah, I mean, you guys can tell that stuff because you see all the time. I remember when I was a kid going to the toy store, like a Toys R Us, and seeing cello packs where people would basically fill up a box with all the guys they wanted, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do you one better than that. My, uh, my friend and I, when we were in high school, we uh, would do it on wax packs because, and I'll you show you right see. here, you know, right over here on the back of a wax pack, if you can't read the name, if you bend it a little bit, you can kind of read the name. Oh, yeah. I don't know how cheesy or wrong you think that These is. These days, maybe people would get up in arms. Back in the day, but I was there were many packs available. I was 14 at the time, and it seemed the right to me. Hey, rack packs back in the day, if I knew that one dude was on the top and my player was right behind him, I'd buy the pack. Right. I didn't care. Yeah. That was my, my, wasn't my fault they were in the same order. You, you can't be faulted for <laughs> knowing what you know. Yeah. You know, information is important. And that's where, you know, with you guys, you guys buy a lot of sealed cases and, and bust stuff all the time to where, John Hoover, USA. you know, um, 
you know, you guys have incentive to make sure people get good boxes. It keeps right. them coming you back. Know, you know what, what you're looking for to make sure that the box is legit and there's stars in there. Mm -hmm. And the, the proof is in the in satisfied customers right. where they'll go on a message board or they'll email us or call us and tell us, hey, I got, you know, a, a key, I got a key card, you know, from your box. You know, that, you know, not everyone can get everything good. Exactly. But... And also, too, this is a 792 card set with 300 or uh, 36 packs times like 15. Right. You're not getting a whole set out of the box anyway. No. You know? And obviously, there are more commons than there are superstars. Right. You know? So, Mark Langston rookie card, Paul Molitor from back in the day. The chance of you buying a box of this 85 Tops and getting a McGuire, a, uh, a Pucket, a Clemens, 50-50. Yeah, it's, it's it's mathematically, it's not going You're not going to get all three for sure. Right. It's just not possible to get all three all the time. Yep. Yeah. I'm calling it right now. I got one right here coming up. I'm due. Terry Forster, Dave Owen, Ar Arginus Salazar, Frank Pastore, Dickie Thon, Kevin Bass. All right, final pack will have it for me. Well... I only got one Olympic card in my stack. Woo. This is a brutal box. No, yeah, it happens. No. Oh. No one, then we gotta hit the big three yet for rookies. I'll make it up right now. Right. Boom, 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 boom. It's not gonna happen. Oh, Andre Dawson. It does happen though. 540 cards and none of the key rookies. You know, that just probably means it's probably in one of the boxes sitting in our shelves back at the office. There's two in the one box. Yeah. Double that. But, you know, that's the thing. That's the challenge of Vintage Wax. You could buy the set, your, you know, the set factory sets are out there. Or take the, ha t take the chance to have some fun. Maybe it'll pay off with two, maybe just one. But, you know, it's a different animal. So, this isn't one of those products where it's like hit every box, hit every case, hit every, you know, whatever. This is a totally different animal. That's what makes vintage kind of fun. Exactly. So. Until, unless you start talking about opening cases and cases of product, you know, sometimes it's just luck and sometimes it happens just to you, you know. For mm -hmm. the same reason that we didn't get any of the major rookies in here, you get a box that have two of each. Yeah. I think you just hit the jackpot. Which exactly. Is, Kind of what we wanted to happen here. And I, I didn't make a joke out of this, because but I should have. I'm totally entering the winning pitch game after this video is over. <laughs> I have four runs right here. I'm totally winning the Major League Baseball painter's cap. I, I should know, also tell you how things have changed. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a Topps painter's cap before. It probably goes pretty good on eBay, right? Yeah. All right, well, till next time. This was 85 Tops, by the way. Until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Reed. Just keep ripping.